Hey guys, so today we are going to be reviewing the, the Squiddy G from Squid Industries. And yeah, let's get into the video. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Okay, so I'm reviewing this because I my squiddy broke and I will show you that right now but well you can just go look on my Instagram um, underscore JC underscore flips underscore um, but yeah you can go look at that. But the reason I'm reviewing this one is because this one has lasted longer than my Squiddy did. So I think this, and this one has a different coating. The Squiddy is more slick. This one is more of like, um, more matte kind of finish. And I've gotten better at flipping since the Squiddy. And I've been trying new tricks. And I can say that this one has held up better to the abuse of flipping better but it still has problems so let me just tell you the problems real quick so one problem i have well first of all tap very little tap but i mean it's squiddy what do you expect play pretty good play and that is the first problem right here if it will focus there is a pretty significant crack right there by the back spacer. Um, or by the back weight, sorry. And then up here, oops, bump my tripod. Up here by the tang pins, or zen pins I mean, there is two cracks right there. And on the same side, two cracks. And I will keep you guys updated. I said I would keep you guys updated last time with the squiddy. But then my tripod broke and I had to go buy a new one. I just got the new one in like yesterday. And yeah, it was a whole entire thing. But this is just a quick review of the Squiddy G. Um, and I have a new trainer coming. It is, it was very expensive. It was by a creator here on YouTube. You guys may or may, oop. On my tripod again. You guys may or may not know who he is, but you guys will see in the future that it is pretty cool. It, I think it's his first channel aluminum trainer. It is the specs are four ounces. It is channel on Zen pins. Um, sixty sixty one aluminum. You guys might know. Um, I got the black one, anodized black. Has a 440C heat treated blade. Um, but yeah, so this is just my review of the Squiddy G. Sorry. Um, but yeah, here it is in all of its glory. Have some tape on there. I'm not sure if there's a crack under there or not. But when I wrapped this, there wasn't. But yeah. Um, it does not have that much play for a Squiddy G because I kind of tried to tune it. And I think I did a okay job tuning it. It's really hard to tune one of these. But if you listen. It's not that loud unless it hits the inside of the channel. Then it starts getting loud, especially if you do that. But other than that, I'm very um, pleased with it. I still recommend them, even though they get these stupid cracks right here. I still highly recommend them. They are really good trainers. I need to um, oil mine. But they, they, they're really good for the price, honestly. Because for... If you guys have a little more money, I say go with maybe a... 
bear ops trainer i've never had one but i have heard heard of people who have them and they're really um pleased with it like luger monger um you guys should know who that is the guy who's like sup how y'all doing it's jared him he is amazing um love his videos but yeah get one of those i think they're around eight sixty to 80 bucks on blade hq depending on the coding you get or if you get the b400 or the b400s or whatever they are or if you get a live blade with a trainer, I think those ones are like 90. Anyway, but those are a little bit more expensive than the Squiddy. This is 40, 45 ish shipped. And honestly, it is a little too much handle heavy for my taste. I prefer blade bias, but this is significantly handle heavy. Um, but it's, that does not mean it flips bad at all. I actually really enjoy how it flips. It's really unique, and I love it. So, I I would say if you guys have the forty to fifty bucks that this thing costs, you can go get one. They're really really nice trainers. You can use them in public, which is amazing because I have metal trainers also, but they are not good in public because I can't just pull them out and be like oh yeah because it looks like a knife this literally just looks like a plastic toy like a flip fins but it's a lot better than a flip fins my brother snaps my flip fins in half so I'm kind of mad but yeah so these totally get one worth the price fans pretty okay little heavy, ha handle heavy like I said but quick summary they sound really good they have minimal handle play they last a while this is my beater I beat the living hell out of it and yeah if you guys only use them indoors and not outside on concrete you will probably never get these little cracks by the Zen pins or by the weights but yeah so that's the end of this sorry if i kind of ranted a little bit but yeah tell me if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and i will be doing more reviews very soon so peace